Welcome back to Q on the Common Game. Today in deck number 932, we're going to talk about the Raven Man. And I'm also going to tell you that this deck is brought to you by, the whole channel is brought to you by the wonderful, wonderful patrons. Thank you so much. And the, uh, our partner, Dragon Shield. Uh, now, this particular deck is in Dragon Shield Jet Matte Sleeves, uh, available at your friendly local game store. And without further ado, we're going to get into the Raven Man. Now, this is not the, the normal style deck that you will see me casually playing. Um, this is a discard deck, and I typically don't like those. I prefer to have everybody at the table having a good time. And when you play things like... Uh, the Raven Man or Turgard or Tiny Bones, uh, you become arch enemy and uh, nobody has a good time, and you know the game starts after you die, <laughs> pretty much. But anyway, it's a legendary creature. It, it, it's a very iconic legendary creature, uh, in especially Liliana's story. So, for two mana, we get a two-one human wizard. At the beginning of each end step, everybody's. If a player discarded a card this turn, you get a bird token that can't block. Four mana tap, each opponent discards a card, you activate as a sorcery. I used to think that activate only as a sorcery was my most hated phrase on a magic card, but now they've gotten to the point to where activate only once each turn, uh, that's terrible. Anyway, um, we want to force discards. Yes, I mean, we do. But in order to do all that stuff, we got to have mana. So let's look at our mana production, shall we? Besides our basic lands, we have uh, Dark Ritual, Soul Ring, Charcoal Diamond, Cold Steel Heart, Decanter, Dreamstone Hedron, of course, double usage there, Guardian Idol, Lead Mirror, One Power Stone, and Burnished Heart. Now, we also have to have a sum of card draw. Uh, you know, uh, Simon Blood. Mana for cards, or mana and life for cards is pretty much Black's strong suit. Read the bones. Uh, Asylum Visitor kind of helps out there. Uh, at the beginning of each player's upkeep. It's not going to be long, but people just aren't going to have cards in hand. You can draw some cards there. Uh, ambitions cost. Now, Howling Mine. I know it looks weird having a Howling Mine. I would have used Fonts of Mythos. I would have used all of that if I'd have had it uh, in the actual deck because uh, if they're drawing more cards, that gives them more cards to discard. And because of the Howling Mine, that made me choose the Underworld Dreams because why not hurt when you draw and hurt when you discard and hurt when you... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um... Now, before we get into the various discard categories here, uh, let's look at our discard payoffs. I mean, in addition to getting our bird, right? What? <laughs> um, we have Waste Knot, which is proof that you don't need to let Magic Populist design a card, because we did this. Uh, whatever set this was originally in, we all voted on every aspect of the card. This is what we came up with. Uh, yeah, whatever they discard, you get a bonus out of it. Um, Raider's Wake, you know, um, when they discard, they lose two life, which is kind of like Megram. Discard, they lose two life. Uh, you can pick one person and make them have a very bad day with the rack. Uh, and then, of course, there's the Book of the Dead, uh, or not the Book of the Dead, Guess Grimoire. Opponent discards a card, you can draw a card. That's silly right there. Um, but we have a couple of lilies. Uh, we do have L Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Uh, mainly to, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you get a, a creature. With them constantly drawing and discarding, the graveyards are going to fill up. They're going to have creatures there. So Waker of the Dead can bring it back. And Liliana of the Veil, which I love this art. Love this art. Just each player discards a card. I mean, whew. yeah, that's what it is. It's repeatable um, discard. 
Now, we do have spells that make people discard. Um, I dare say the pinnacle discard spell ever was him to Turok, uh, because it's two cards at random for two mana. Hmm. Fallen Empires represent. Uh, we have Duress, on Nerve, Smallpox does all the things. One card, one life, one creature, one land. Yeah. Uh, Lilian's Triumph. We're probably going to control that. Uh, Dark Deal. That's a that's a wild one. Uh, Delirium Schemes. Everybody discards three. Siphon Mind. They discard. I draw. That's whew, that's good. Uh, Remorseless Punishment. Mind Shatter. X. Okay. But then for five mana, we have the what I consider the end all be all for mono black discard decks. Uh, drop your hand. That's for each swamp you control. Yeah, that's pretty much drop your hand. A uh, few enchantments, you know, bottomless pitch, you know that's in there. And the court of ambition, uh, being the monarch, and if you're the monarch, it's double. Now, uh, creature wise, uh, We've got, of course, the Elder Fang Disciple. Each opponent discards. Liliana, Liliana Spectre, there, same thing again with ETBs. And then the Abyssal Spectre. Do not have the Hypnotic Spectre. That's, uh, at, at time of building this, I couldn't get my fingers on one. So, um, But we do have some other things that are um, Scourge Familiar. Uh, choose a discard to get a black. That is good for a temporary mana bump. Uh, we, let's see, what are the creatures? Oh, yeah. Got a nightmare because we're playing mono black and it's good. I mean, uh, let's see. This is Guilt Feeder. Attacks and isn't blocked. Defending player loses one life for each card in their graveyard. Which, if we're making them discard, should be a substantial amount of cards in their graveyard. Um, I figured, since this is not a, a deck I would normally play anyway, sure, we'll go ahead and throw a Diabolic Tutor in, maybe to get the uh, Book of the Dead. Actually, the Book of the Dead this time. Um, getting all dead creatures back, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Swift foot boots to protect our commander. Animate dead, you know, just to get the best thing out of the graveyard. Uh, rise from the grave, similar, but cost a little more. The cruelty of Gix. Same thing from a graveyard. Uh, Faded return, expensive at seven mana, but indestructible. If I can steal their indestructible whatever, steal it and make it indestructible, that's pretty big. Um, Feldman's King to, you know, get it all back. Uh, Gloom, because, I mean, we don't want the nasty white spells of, you know, Sword to Plowshare, Disenchant, wh what have you. Um, and then Horror of Horrors. You can sack a swamp to regenerate a black creature. Pretty good. We might have a swamp or two laying around that we're not using. Uh, so, removal-wise, yes, there is a Doom Blade and a Murder, but we are also, you know, the Corrupt could be Creature Removal, could be Player Removal, you know. <laughs> um, Deadly Tempest, a pretty good board wipe. Um, in Garrett's Wake, an exceptional board wipe, but the reason why it costs 9 mana. Uh, yeah, all our stuff lives. Languish, get that minus four action. Now, I like Ashes to Ashes. It exiles two non-artifact creatures. Yeah, you take five. You were probably going to take more than five from those two creatures. So, Death Grip. Here is another good one that is, um, I mean, it's a reusable counterspell for that color that likes to disenchant or naturalize and return to nature and uh, destroy all the black things. Yeah, repeatable counter spell. And then the Elder spell, because we should be the only one having walkers. <laughs> then our uh, our non-basic lands, not a lot here. We have Cycle Land, uh, Color Cycle Land. The Buried Ruin, 
get artifact back. We've got a few. And then, of course, Ghost Quarter. And that is it for the Raven Man. As I said, not my particular favorite style of deck to play uh, because I, I want everyone to have a good time playing. And discard decks, I learned in 95 that they, they do not encourage a... They're really good if you are just trying to win. But outside of that, eh. but that is what we have got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go down there. I mean, you're watching 11 minutes of the video, so you might as well subscribe. I have been dropping two videos a, a day now for about five or six days. I'm going to try to keep this up as long as I can. Um, at four and four every day. So thank you so much. But we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut.